what it utters is its only stock in store, caught from some unhappy master, whom unmerciful disaster followed fast and followed faster till his songs one burden bore, till the dirges of his hope that melancholy bore of never, never more. Still beguiling all my sad soul into smiling, straight I will the cushioned seat in front of bird and bust and door. Then, upon the velvet sinking, I betook myself to linking fancy unto fancy, thinking what that ominous bird of yore, what this grim, ungainly, ghastly, gaunt, and ominous bird of yore meant in croaking, nevermore. This I sat engaged in guessing, but no syllable expressing to the fowl whose fiery eyes now burned into my bosom's core. This and more I sat divining, while my head at ease reclining on the cushion's velvet lining with the lamplight gloated o'er, but whose velvet violet, violet lining with the lamplight gloating o'er, she shall press, ah, nevermore. Then we thought, the air grew denser, perfumed from an unseen censer, swung by angels whose faint footfalls tinkled on the tufted floor. Wretch, I cried, thy God hath lent thee, by these angels he hath sent thee respite, respite in a pen from thy memories of Lenore. Quaff, oh quaff this kind repent, and forget this lost Lenore. Prophet, said I, think of evil. Prophet still, if bird or devil, whether tempest sent or whether tempest talks thee here ashore, desolate yet all undaunted, on this desert land enchanted, on this home by horror haunted, tell me truly, I implore, is there, is there balm in Gilead? Tell me, tell me, I implore. Quoth the raven. Prophet, said I, think of evil, a prophet still of bird or devil. By that heaven that bends above us, by that God we both adore, tell this soul with sorrow laden, if, within the distant Aden, it shall clasp a sainted maiden whom the angels named Lenore. Again, quote the raven, nevermore. Be that word or sign of pardon, <coughs> bird or fiend, I shrieked of starting. Get, the, get thee back into the tempest and the night's Plutonian shore. Leave no black plume as token of thy lie thy soul has spoken. Leave my loneliness unbroken. Quit the bust above my door. Take thy beak from out my heart and take thy form from out my door. Quote the raven, nevermore. And then the raven, never flitting, still is sitting, still is sitting on the pallid bust of Pallas just above my chamber door. And his eyes have all the seeming of a demon's that is dreaming, and the lamplight o'er him streaming throws his shadow on the floor. And my soul from out that shadow lies floating 